Welcome to Bentley Systems technical session on Instang modeling. In this video, we will learn to model an INS water tank using a custom user tool created using a VBS OpenStat macro. INS water tanks are elevated circular tanks with a dome at the top and bottom as shown in the picture. Generally, modeling an inch water tank can take some time due to its shape and this user tool automates the procedure of modeling it. So let's have a look at how this user tool works and what are all the parameters needed to create a water tank using this. Create a new stat profile for this exercise. Make sure you have not opened any other Statro instances at this time. And you can directly open this user tool using the macros option under utilities. But in this exercise, I am going to show you the procedure to make this user tool a part of Statro user tools. So for that, we will use the configure use option under user tools. Here under the customize user defined tools, click on new and give this tool a name. So I'll say instank modeler. And browse here to the location where you have saved this OpenStat macro. The details about how and where to get this tool will be explained at the end of this video. Now select the file and open it and close the dialog box by clicking on OK. Now this tool will be available under the user tools. Let's use it to create the instank. So let's run it and we will have a dialog box for instank modeling parameters. Once you enter all the required parameters in here, the program will generate an instank model for you. Here this tank is divided, the parts of the tank is divided into five bottom cone, wall, bottom dome, top dome and tank columns. For bottom cone, you have to enter the outer diameter and the inner or the sum diameter and you also have to enter the number of divisions along the circumference and as well as along the radius as shown in this picture. The number of divisions are entered in order for the program to mesh the plates that we are creating and for walls we have to enter the depth at the circumference as well as at the center for walls also we have to enter the number of divisions across the wall depth it can be either the number of equal divisions so you can say five or six number of divisions or you can define user defined divisions so while defining user defined divisions you have to make sure that the sum of the division should be equal to the depth at the circumference so for this example the depth at circumference is three and when you are using the defined divisions the sum of these divisions should be equal to 3 meter and then you have to define the width of the toe and also the number of divisions of the toe and for bottom and top dome you have to define the height of the dome slab and also the number of, number of divisions along the Doms. 
lastly you have to define the number of columns and the length of the column as well as the number of equal divisions along the length of the column which will be creating the bracings for you once you enter all these parameters you can click on ok and here on the StatPro main screen you can see the program is generating the instant based on the parameters that we entered in the dialog box so this is our bottom cone and now it will go on to create the tank walls then the top dome and bottom dome and so on one small tip here is that while generating this model if you minimize this stat pro window the process of generating this tank will be faster i'm not minimizing this window at this moment so that we can view how the program is generating this tank So this is the final model that the program has generated using the user tool. We have grouped whatever elements that we have created so that it will be easy for you while assigning the properties or applying the loads on the structure. So if you go to select and group, you can see the various groups has been generated by the program or generated by the tool. So, if I click on bottom dome, the group bottom dome, it will highlight the bottom dome groups. Similarly, the columns or the base slab. So, we have generated all these groups so that it will be easy for you for further developing this model. And this VBS OpenStat macro can be downloaded from the Bentley Communities files page you have to make sure that you are signed into the communities page for you to download this one the link for the same will be given in the description for this video thank you